The Harris campaign back in Michigan today after also campaigning that blue wall state on Friday. ABC Selena Wang is in Detroit with the latest on this. Good morning, Selena. Good morning, Gio. Vice President Harris is blitzing through the battlegrounds in her final push to get out the vote. She rallies here in Michigan today after making a surprise appearance on Saturday Night Live. She's pulling out all the stops as her campaign comes to a close. Are we ready to win? Overnight, Vice President Kamala Harris in North Carolina making her final push in the crucial southern battlegrounds. We have an opportunity in this election to turn the page on a decade of Donald Trump trying to keep us divided and afraid of each other. Harris making her economic plan front and center. And at the top of my list is bringing down the cost of living for you. That will be my focus every single day as president. I will give a middle class tax cut to over 100 million Americans. I will enact the first ever federal ban on corporate price gouging on groceries. Tearing into Trump in battleground Georgia. This is someone who is increasingly unstable, obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance, Harris hoping to sway moderate Republicans like this one. What made you change your mind and vote for a Democrat for the first time? I think, look, the Republican Party isn't the party I grew up with. And the vice president making a surprise appearance overnight. And live from New York, it's Saturday night! Giving advice to herself, played by Maya Rudolph on SNL. And I'm just here to remind you, you got this. Because you can do something your opponent cannot do. You can open doors. <laughs> the vice president poking fun at herself. <laughs> I don't really laugh like that, do I? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> On the trail, superstars John Bon Jovi. Take my hand. Make it I swear. And Alicia Keys firing up the crowd in Battleground, Pennsylvania. But let me ask you, are we going back? <laughs> Joined by one of the most popular Democrats, former First Lady Michelle Obama. Second gentleman Doug Emhoff casting his vote for Harris, saying, I'll never forget this moment. Even President Biden returning to the trail in his hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania, to rally union workers. You know, we've asked a lot of each other, you and I, unions and me. I ask you one more thing. I'm asking you for your support for common Tim Knowles. Vice President Harris heads to Pennsylvania tomorrow, the most critical battleground state with its 19 electoral college votes. In these final days, her campaign is doubling down on the blue wall states of Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. Winning those states would be Harris's clearest path to victory. Wit. Selena Wang, thank you.